Hey guys, Figurecraft here, and today I figured I'd show y'all my process of where I'm working on these floors, installing the new floors into the um, the A deck um, promenade deck. So I've got the grand staircase uh, flooring changed from what it was when it first came in, which now it definitely looks a whole lot better. I've got this carpet running down here, and I'm working on right here now, which is where the reading and the writing room is. And so now I'm working on doing that. And pulling up my picture over here on the computer, the reading and the writing room had like a pink, pinkish kind of carpet. So, I've got me some paper here. And this is going to be my reading and writing room carpet. But the challenging thing about these new decks is these screw sockets you have to figure out how to get around. You've got all these screw sockets. So we're going to start over here and we've got one, two, three screw sockets to work around. And how are we going to do that? Well, I'll show you my best method that I figured it out. So I'll set you down here. I'll get you adjusted. Now, my best method that I use for figuring out is take the piece of paper that you want to use. And the first thing you want to start off with, make sure your paper is straight. This is not going to be by all means any easy. And the first one we want to start off with is the tallest one. So there's a tall pillar right here. Find it with your finger. Press it down with your finger. Just take your time with it. And when I did that, right there is my first indention. So now that I've got my first indention figured out, I'm going to take my X-Acto blade. And I'm going to cut out around this indention. To make us a circle hole. So take your time with it. Don't rush. You don't want to have an accident. And end up cutting yourself. That would be bad. So slowly cutting until we get this hole cut out. And then we have our first hole. Now we're going to locate that pin again. And if you've done it correctly, you should be able to slot the first one through no problem. Now it's just a matter of straightening up the carpet, filling where the next ones are. So we got one right here. I'm working on pressing down right now with my hand to indent that. Okay, there's one. There's one right here, so what I'm going to do first, though, is make sure this carpet is straight, indent that again. I'm going to pull up this paper slowly, and now I'm going to cut out the second hole, and then we've got this last one right here to engrave. So now I'm working on cutting out the second hole.
so working on cutting and with that we should have the second hole freed so now that we got two holes we're going to flip this back around we're going to insert the two pieces down and now that's going to hold the carpet firm and now we're going to find our last one which is over here pressing down with my finger And there we have our next indention. So now pull up the carpet again. We're going to cut out the last hole. So, going to where I see the indention. Okay, go over here, I just got back from an eye doctor's appointment yesterday, they told me my vision was okay, but unfortunately we got a whole lot of eye allergies in my eye, and they prescribed me some eye drops, they said it's going to take me two weeks to get it fully cleared up, so I've got that going on now, <laughs> alright, there's the three hoes. Now we should be able to take this and just insert all three of these screw sockets. Which you can see there. That worked out nicely. Now the next thing is the shape. We need to do the shape. So the best thing for that is that while it's on here, take your hand, slowly press down to form the pattern where it's like up this raised surface you can slowly press down and form the pattern in the paper which is a really good way of doing things so that's what I'm doing I'm taking my hand I'm pressing down okay so that one's gonna stop there and we're gonna go straight there we go we're gonna go down here okay we don't need to worry about that that's one of those screw sockets so it's about right in here okay that's the straight that goes out this way let me see here yeah we don't need to worry about that that's just a another raised screw socket. We won't be using that one because that one's in the hallway. So I just need to get about this much of the pattern right down here. Lift up my paper. If I can get it on the other side right here. Started at least. There we go. And then go over that one more time. Make sure it's creased in there. You want to make sure that you got it good and creased. So if you have to use your fingernail a little bit to get in behind the wall. But not too much because you don't want to tear the paper. So using my fingernail. What's left of my fingernail? I clip my fingernails. <laughs> and then using my fingernail down here. And that one's okay. Okay. So now when I pull this up. You can see the pattern is now creased in the paper. So now it's just a case of cutting this out. So looking at it, we're going to go from here. Straight across. Try 
trying to cut as straight as I possibly can. Then we're going to go from here. To there. We're going to go from here. To down here. Take your time. Don't go fast. This is a very delicate process. Okay, then we're going to go from here to over. Now, when it comes to that curve, I would advise using scissors, which is what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to use my scissors. I'm going to cut around that pattern. Then I'm going to cut across. Now just because I couldn't see where the thing ends, I'm going to cut it a little bit longer. That way I can work with that. And then I'm going to trim this down. Just like that. All right, now we got that much. Now what we're going to do is we're going to test fit it. That way we can figure what needs to be trimmed, what doesn't need to be trimmed. Okay, so from right there is where we need to trim. Let me get my X-Acto blade. I'm going to do some markings. Right about there. And down here, we need to trim from right about there. Okay, so now I'm going to go where I've got my marking on my, on my uh, X-Acto blade, which I see it. we got to cut back quite a bit to clear those beams. Or not beams, but screw sockets. There we go. And then the next thing we got to do is trim from there. So, yeah, we don't need that. Don't need that. All right. We need it about like that. So now we're going to set this down and look it over. We still got to trim backwards a bit. But we're getting there. We're doing good. Okay, try it again, still a bit more, try it again, and that's right, that's what we need, and with that, we now have our reading and our writing room carpet ready to be put down. So what we're going to do here now is I'm going to pull this up. I'm going to get my paintbrush that I've been constantly using. I always wash it in warm hot water. Basically scalding hot water I wash it after I've been using it. I'm going to get my Gorilla Wood Glue. I'm going to dip my brush into the Gorilla Wood Glue. And then I'm going to start to paint 
the Gorilla Wood Glue. Onto the piece. And this is also how I stick down my wooden decks. If I see anything like little small hairs that came out of the brush or something like that, like that right there, I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm just going to cover them up. Because sometimes you'll lose hairs out of the brush. So painting the glue around the surface where it's going to make contact. Make sure to get some back here. Make sure to get some over here around this. You want to make sure to try to get all points that where the paper is going to make contact. Up off that screw socket a bit. Painting around here. Going back down here, making sure I got plenty of glue down here. Basically, um, don't be stingy with your glue. If you need to use um, however much you think you need to use, then use it. <laughs> All right, now we're going to insert our new carpeting. down to the floor and start to press it in place use our finger now we're also going to use a q-tip or a cotton bud Just wipe it around. Try to make sure that all the points of your carpet are making contact. And when you've got it. And right there you go. You have a reading and a writing room carpet. So now we've got the grand staircase tiling. Walk down the hallway into the reading and the writing rooms. This right here is all left uh, blank because this is hidden behind a wall. Because uh, on top of this right here is where the second funnel casing basically is. So the second funnel would feed down through here. But that's going to do it for this video. I just wanted to show you uh, my process of how I get around the screw sockets and how I've done it. But uh, hopefully this uh, video will help you if you want to do the same modification for yourself. You don't have to do what I do it's if you want to. This will show you an easier step to get around those screw sockets. Or at least my method that I use to get around them. But hopefully this video helps y'all. But you all uh, stay safe and have a blessed one. And when I come back we'll be doing some more modifications on uh, the Titanic. Of showing what all I've done so far. But I, I've still got a lot of work to do. <laughs> and I've got my... Wooden decks over here spray glossed and dry in those two. And I've got these holding them down because when you spray them with this uh, stuff I use. It's like lacquer stuff. It used to be in a can like this. Tester's uh, spray lacquer. And then they changed the can to this. But when I hold them side by side. I'll try this. You can see they have the same name. They're the same thing. They've just changed their logos. But that's going to do it for this video. You all stay safe and have a blessed one. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Goodbye.